hello students welcome back to my channel and in this class we are going to learn angle sum property of polygon to understand the angle sum properties of polygons know first what are the types of angles in a polygon a polygon means it is a simple closed curve made up of only line segment and the simplest polygon is triangle and in any polygon the number of sides is equal to the number of angles so here what are the types of angles the angles present in the interior part of the polygon are interior angles and when the sides are produced and the angle formed outside of the polygon are the exterior angles so in any polygon there are two set of angles first one is interior angles and second exterior angles so let us discuss what is the sum of the interior angles of the polygon and what is the sum of exterior angles of the polygon first interior angle sum of a polygon and we know that triangle is the simplest polygon so let us discuss first what is the angle sum of a triangle in a triangle as we know three sides are there and three angles are there three interior angles are there now let us take all these three angles interior angles and find their sum so what is the sum this is a straight angle when we are bringing together all the three interior angles we are getting a straight angle which is equal to 180 degree here the interior angle sum of triangle is 180 degree now let us discuss for quadrilateral what is the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral quadrilateral means it is a four sided polygon and it has four angles also interior angles also now let us take the sum of all these three all these four angles let us bring together all those four angles and join together with a common vertex yes what we are getting it is a circle that means it is a 360 degree the sum is 360 degree so interior angle sum of a quadrilateral is 360 degree now how can we get the angle sum of different polygons is it possible always to bring together all those interior angles to find the sum no so what we have to do let us discover any rule as we have learnt triangle is the simplest polygon and the angle sum of triangle is 180 degree that means we can split any quadrilateral or any polygon pentagon hexagon heptagon or any polygon into triangles so minimum how many triangles can be splitted when we are taking one of the diagonal then the total quadrilateral is splitted into two triangles now the angle sum of each triangle is 180 degree so when two triangles are forming the angle sum is 360 degree now let us discuss in a pentagon pentagon is a five sided polygon so a pentagon how many triangles can be splitted minimum number of triangles can be formed here the total pentagon is splitted into triangles and three triangles are forming so what is the angle sum the angle sum how to find if we are adding all the angles of these three triangles then we are getting the angle sum of this 
pentagon. So, what is that? That is equal to 180 degree into 3 because 3, angle, three triangles are forming. So, it is 540 degree. Now, let us discuss in other polygons. So, in any polygon, how to calculate the angle sum? The rule is n minus 2 into 180 degree. Why n minus 2? Because when we are splitting the total polygon into triangles, if the n is the number of side, then triangle forming are n minus 2. How many sides are there in that polygon? If we are subtracting 2, that many triangles can be splitted. The total polygon can be splitted into n minus 2 number of polygons. And when we are multiplying into 180 degree, because the angle sum of each triangle is 180 degree, we are getting the angle sum of any polygon. Now, let us discuss other polygons, hexagon. In a hexagon, it is six sided polygon. So, how many triangles can be formed here? Four. Here the number of side is 6. So, n minus 2 is 6 minus 2 into 180 degree that is equal to 720 degree. In a heptagon it is a 7 sided polygon that means 7 minus 2 number of uh, triangles can be formed. So, it is 7 minus 2 into 180 that is equal to 5 into 180 900 degree. In octagon, octagon is a 8 sided polygon. Here the number of triangles can be splitted is n minus 2 that means 8 minus 2 is 6 and 6 into 180 equal to 1080 degree. In this way we can find the interior angle sum of any polygon. Let us discuss now what is the exterior angle sum of a polygon. The simplest polygon is triangle as we know. Now, let us find the sum of all the exterior angles of a triangle. There are three exterior angles. Now, bring together and we are getting 360 degree. Let us discuss in a quadrilateral. In a quadrilateral also four exterior angles are present and now let us find the sum of these exterior angles when we are bringing together all these four angles then also we are getting a 360 degree that means the angle sum of any the exterior angle sum of any polygon is 360 degree the exterior angle sum of hexagon there are six exterior angles and the sum of the exterior angles is same 360 degree. Now, it is concluded that the exterior angle sum of any polygon is 360 degree and the interior angle sum of polygon is depending on the number of sides. So, that is n minus 2 into 180 degree when n is the number of sides. Hope everyone understood. Thank you.